Welcome back to the county seat. We're wrapping this session up uh, on uh, inmate insurance. And, and I think the key points, Brent, uh, we were talking about here in the break is that uh, are, are two. One of them is uh, the insurance companies continue to collect a premium. And the, the other would be that um, uh, not only are they collecting the premium through that, that period, but a lot of the people are innocent and not proven guilty yet. And so and is it? Is and it never will be proven guilty because right. they are innocent. And so is it the county's responsibility to pay for an innocent person's temporary stay because they are, you know, in a situation where they're suspect? And I guess that's the uh, purpose of the debate. Any last final comments for you guys about this other than? Well, I think, I think it's going to require a little citizen involvement here. I hope that people will watch this and realize that this is their dollars that we're talking about. You know, the county doesn't generate money. It's, we spend it. We, we take their dollars and try to turn it into something good. And uh, we just don't feel like we're able to use their money as wisely as we could be when these dollars are slipping away through uh, treatment that should be covered by uh, health insurance. It's a fairly sizable. I mean, your total medical coverage is what six six million a year for yeah. Salt Lake County. Yeah. That's that's regardless of what size county. That is a fairly large uh, uh, chunk of change. So, you know, if you as a citizen are really concerned about this, uh, you've got a very powerful lobby that has a lot of connections and uh, invests a lot of their resources. Uh, with the state legislature, but you ultimately, as a citizen, have more power than they do by just contacting your representative and, and telling them to support this, because as these gentlemen are saying, this is going to have to be driven by, by public interest. So if this is an issue to you, tell your friends about this episode, have them watch it so they can understand it, have them contact their legislator for this coming session, and we'll let you know on the county seat when that bill comes up and what number it is. And uh, we want to end this episode with just a little quick tour of uh, Kane County. They just opened up a couple of weeks ago their new jail, and we had an opportunity to go down and take a look at this facility. It's state of the art. It will be able to accommodate 160 uh, contract prisoners from the state. And uh, congratulations to them, to their partners in building it, the USDA and uh, uh, their local bonding. It's been a long process and they have a fine state-of-the-art facility. So hats off to you, Kane County and Sheriff Smith. You've got a great facility and a job well done. And that's it. That's all the time we have for the county seat this week. We will look for you next week. And if you would like to see this again or tell your friends about it, the website is thecountyseat.tv. If you've got a comment you'd like to make, go to our Facebook page and uh, tell us what you think. We'll look for you next week on the county seat.